Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and this is the time of year where I again roll out my video about top 5 programming language. So here we go. This video is going to talk about the top 5 programming language that you should watch out for in 2020. And of course there's going to be a couple of uh, honorable mentions as well as some of the things which should absolutely you should consider for the 2020. Now before we get on the rolling for this 2020 top 5 programming video, I want to ask you a one simple question. What is the one programming language that you already know and what is the one programming language that you want to learn in 2020? Post down in the comment section, I'll be reading all of them. In the list of top 5 programming language, we got a new contender in the list number 5. At position number 5, I'm gonna keep up Golang. Now Golang is going to see a great amount of rise in 2020. That's my personal prediction. The language is pretty much already popular and is scaling quite a lot at the backend services. It can handle a ton of data and ton of services are being designed in the Golang. It's pretty popular in the backend side, but in 2019, it didn't got that much of the popularity that this language actually deserved. So I think that in 2020, the Golang is going to be rising quite a lot and it's the one language that you should really watch out. Now, moving with the programming language is not about just learning the functions and loops and variables. It's not about that. So make sure you follow the link in the description section where we are talking more on to the Golang on our free blog. And we are also rolling out some of the blogs that are having information about how to make simple to-do apps and connect them with MongoDB and a whole lot of application. Amazing articles that can speed you up in the Golang, so definitely worth checking them out. At number four in 2020, I'm gonna keep Swift. Although it was a tough choice for keeping the Swift on number four, because in 2020, we're gonna see a little bit in the decline in the Swift programming language. In the previous time, we were having just one single option if you want to enter into the iOS world. These devices are definitely expensive, but they are in a huge quantity all over the globe. Missing out entirely on the iOS market is not at all a good choice. But now Swift is not the only way that we can enter into the iOS market. We have Flutter, we have React Native, and a whole bunch of other things as well. So definitely in 2020, you're gonna see a little bit decline in the popularity of the Swift programming language, but still some of the things can only be done still in the Swift in the iOS environment, especially the payment stuff. So definitely we're gonna see a decline, but it's still worth learning because iOS is a huge market, very good potential, and also the competition is less there among programmers. At number three, I'm gonna keep Java in this 2020 spot. There is no shortage of people holding the devices which are running Android, but Java is not the only way to reach up in these devices and creating Android apps. There are huge number of applications, frameworks and libraries are there which can reach out to the Android market. One of the reason of keeping Java at number three spot still, because we have already seen a little bit decline in the popularity of Java, but still one of the thing which is still keeping Java running and probably is gonna boost it up a lot more is gonna be Spring Boot. Spring Boot is getting a numerous popularity these days because of the, some of the refinements in the frameworks that has been done. It was already great, but not so much. With the recent updates, it has become fantastic. If you're looking forward to learn Java, I think extend your knowledge up to the Spring Boot as well and go in that area. It's gonna be really, really amazing in 2020. At spot number two, I'm gonna keep JavaScript. Android, iOS, or the desktop. JavaScript is almost everywhere and it's gonna just increase its spread. JavaScript nowadays is providing the ultimate business solution and that is the reason why it's almost at number one spot in the local job market no matter what the country is. No matter how great your product you are building or no matter how much you are applying machine learning as a solution for that in the back end, people still need interface and that interface can be in the Android, iOS, or the desktop. That's why JavaScript is providing all the solution out there, and I believe that it's gonna be at number one spot in quickly and easily finding job. It's growing quite a lot, and I think this is the one language if you're looking forward for a quick job or to design an interface for your amazing product, this is the one language that most of the industries are choosing up. 
Although on the popularity side in the top five graph, I'm keeping JavaScript at point number two, but I would still keep this JavaScript as a point number one in case of the job market and how easy it is to grab a job if you are a JavaScript developer. Now, before we unveil our number one spot, I would like to pick up two honorable mentions here. The two honorable mentions are gonna be c -sharp and PHP. Both are amazing, very rock solid, very stable, but not that much into the popularity game. Still, they are being used in a ton of projects, so definitely these are two honorable mentions, c -sharp and PHP. At spot number one, I'm gonna keep Python, and there is a good side of it, and there is a bad side of it. Python is now being introduced as the very first language in majority of the universities all over the globe. This means the students are being focused and are being exposed over the Python from the very first start of their life of engineering or the programming world. And of course, with the rise of focus on variety of machine learning and the data science field, we're also seeing that Python is becoming very popular to the new programmers. And when new programmers actually pick up a programming language, it is destined to become number one spot in almost every list that you're gonna see in the top five programming language. So that's a good thing you might be asking. No, it's actually a little bit both on the side, good side and the bad side, let me tell you that. When a language is so much popular that it reaches almost every single list at the top one position, that means there's gonna be a huge community which is gonna help you to learn the programming language. There's gonna be so much of the development in the programming language that everybody is going to enjoy that. Now, another aspect of this is that since there is so much of the noise in this programming language, that means Finding job as a machine learning or data science expert is going to be a little bit tricky in 2020. Almost every next programmer that you're gonna see in the early days wants to become data scientist or machine learning expert. That's why you're gonna see a huge number of people looking out for job. And of course, the rest of the other fields where we have to build interfaces, whether mobile app or the web app, there's gonna be a shortage of programmer because most of the people, majority of the people are gonna be focused on Python. Again, it's totally your choice whether you want to go in the crowd because that's also a good thing because so many people are interested there. But there is other side as well because there's gonna be a lot of competition there and a lot of crowd. Now that you know about the top five programming language, I also want to mention two core skills that you should definitely 100% pick up in 2020. Since 2020 is gonna be the year where we're going to focus, entire industry is going to focus a lot about the data. And data and handling the data, processing the data is not just about machine learning and the AI and the Python world, it's not. So definitely the two skills that I would highly recommend to pick up in 2020 are gonna be the SQL or SQL skill as well as one MongoDB kind of skill. The skill of interacting with the databases, firing up the query and picking up the data is very, very essential. A lot of programmers just focus only on just programming language, but handling the database is equally important and critical role. A lot of people think that the SQL based database are getting outdated, but that is absolutely a 100% myth. SQL databases, especially MySQL and other brothers of it, are going nowhere. They are gonna stay here for as long as you can imagine. They are pretty rock solid. So understanding at the language that these databases speak is very crucial. A lot of time, you don't need high-end specifications and processing of the data. Rather, you just need to pull out some simple queries and just act on those data. So in this data dominated 2020, make sure that you pick up either one of the SQL based skill as well as check out my free MongoDB series on here on YouTube so that you understand more about what's gonna come up in the data and cover up these essential skills. I hope this list is gonna be absolutely a game planner for what to do in 2020. Make sure you post down in the comment section that what is the one programming language that you already know and what is the one programming language that you are looking forward to learn in 2020. That is it from my side about what's gonna come up in 2020 in the programming world. Let me know if you agree with the list in the comment section and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because we are gonna come up with a lot of programming content in 2020 as well. That's it for this video. Hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends as well. And let's catch up in the next one.